Well, okay. Sports the day. Another time. For September 17th. Um, just kind of running through these Pontiac College Classics here on Sports of the Day. Uh, there are ones that will take forever and are impossible to complete, like SMU versus BYU here. This one's really hard to complete, basically you just gotta hope Stanford misses the field goal because for some reason it starts you at the Stanford field goal. <clears throat> this one's fairly easy, this one's really easy, only takes one play. And it just kind of depends on if you get it done or not. This one is a little bit different, actually. I kind of want to do this one. I believe in this one, you got Miami and Penn State. Ah, yes, getting off the plane in Tempe, Arizona, dressed in military fatigues. Uh, the Miami Hurricanes did. Um, you can watch that whole documentary they made about the whole situation. What was interesting about this team was the fact that Miami was probably really the better team and they just kind of, their defense was really strong that game, only gave up two touchdowns, but um, I guess their running game wasn't bad either, but uh, their pass, basically it was pass turnovers, uh, their quarterback, who I think was Testa Verde, uh, threw five of them. Alright, not bad. Oh, it gives me like three minutes, and I think oh, I only have one timeout. That's interesting. Oh, I don't like that. It's second and two. Let's go ahead and full back blast. You'll see. I recently purchased this game, so my personal record is one win, one loss. The one win was a. Uh, I think it was Army Navy. I chose Navy and I defeated Army very handily. Uh, which is a typical thing that I like to do whenever I get. It's the thing I like. I, I like to kind of do like a Serious Academy game. I'll do like Harvard Yale if it'll let me do that. Just for it. Ah, shit. Well, I didn't know where that play was supposed to go. That actually could have been a lot of yards had I done what I wanted to do. I misread that, okay, because I thought he was going right. No, he was going left. Alright, well now, fuck, okay. Obvious exits are X and B. Uh, okay, R is going to be open though, I think. No, he's not. Wow, that's exactly how they lost the game. <laughs> Throwing right into coverage. Uh, well. I'm not going to bite on the play action, I'm going to guess. Let's go on the halfback streak. Typically that works, providing our halfback doesn't drop it. Which has been known to happen. Oh shit. No, wait, maybe they weren't prepared. Nope, overthrow. Okay. Mm, okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to go for it. We don't have much time. Of course, off the recommendation of Robot Lee Corso here. Let's just fuck it, just throw it downfield. Hope somebody pulls up. Nope, okay. And there's nothing really I can do from there, so rather than uh, just let the clock run out because they're just going to take a couple knees, I'll spare you the pain of that, and I'll also spare you the pain of me going back and doing that again because who the hell cares? I know I don't. Uh, Virginia Tech and Syracuse. Syracuse QB, of course, Donovan McNabb, then began vomiting on the field at the start of the final drive. I'm not going to read all of this to you because who cares. So yeah, fourth and goal. Basically have to score on this one play. The play itself is one of the crazier moments, I guess, in football history, where Donovan McNabb scrambled and then found a his tight end wide open at the end of the end zone. Awesome game in the uh, Carrier Dome back when the Syracuse football meant something. Does not anymore, for the most part, aside from, I think, their quarterback actually was supposed to be a relatively high draft pick. Yeah, I just wanted to put the coach said, because... 
sorry. Okay, probably just gonna lob it. Hold on. Ah, well, that was a bad idea. And good job. <laughs> well, that could have gone any worse had I tried. On the same thing that did not even end the game, so I couldn't really make much of a uh, reason for continuing there. Would have, again, just probably taken a knee. Let's do something else. I'm going to start a dynasty. I don't know why I made Army my favorite team, because they're absolutely not my favorite team. But it was easy. It was non-denominational. Now... Ah, uh, shit, what do we want to do for a team here in Dynasty? I guess we can just start. Coach contracts are on, which I think just means you can get fly. How did K-State play 15 games in 2003? That's bizarre. Uh, I think we'll go... Ooh. This is weird because I'm at the University of Kansas right now as we're speaking. Uh, I like to play in like championship games, um, so that basically leaves us with the Big 12 and the a uh, SEC, because the ACC and Big 10 didn't have championship games at that point. The Big 12, let's just go with Kansas. I know how that season went too. I went to most of the games for that season actually, interestingly enough. wait for a GameCube to load here. <laughs> and as we wait, I think something they either added in this year or the year before in 2004, I think it was the year before, it was a virtual Sports Illustrated. Let's see who the Heisman hopeful is right now. QB number 11, USC. I think that's Leinert. Of course, Darren Sproles. That might be... Is that... Jason White, yeah, Brad Smith, Missouri, and okay. mm. don't know, don't really care either. So, we got all that preseason, I don't really care about anything, what's the conference outlook though? Or am I in this, oh, only 10th, that's good, <laughs> yay, 10th place. Preseason options, of course, you can redshirt players. Something I never really knew how to do when I like when the game was new. Uh, he was technically redshirted, I think. But who cares? Ryan Luke probably not going to be our starter. It's probably Jason Swanson. He was not that skin tone. That's kind of bizarre. Of course, that's false. Is oh no, twenty. Of course, he would end up being the lead rusher in 06. I, nobody cares. Oh, well, I guess all that hard work of pressing A once has gone to waste. Tulsa, Toledo. Strength of schedule is already A+, plus, so don't really need to do anything to mess with that. Just go week one, nothing happens. Back when week one, nothing happened. Back when it was basically just a... Uh, I think like a Thursday evening game, and you know, there would be maybe one of them the whole, yeah, you know, in the whole country. Let's see who won that. Number one USC, staying dominant. User options here, uh, just kind of showing this. It's nothing really special. This is kind of weird. These uh, like bright blue uniforms all of a sudden. That's kind of strange. And also the fact they don't change the helmets to that color. This was back during the final two Nike years at the University of Kansas. For what that's worth. Adidas took over in 2005 and made the script all weird, which I don't really like. Still to this day, and now they've got all these new alternates. This isn't a terrible rendition of Memorial Stadium, I will add, we're going to kick here, I will add the uh, part back there in the background, there there were no seats there, 
back in 2004. Um, there are now, but they're pretty much available only to uh, really wealthy donors. So, very few people sit there. All right. Okay, now time for my excellent defense, which is essentially, oh, I can, my stadium pulse, I can get that up with my linebacker here. I think that was actually added in 05. Oh god, the other linebacker bit on that so hard. <laughs> ah, okay, well, at least that wasn't me. So, it looks like man's gonna work for the time being, the way that they're playing. Of course, that's based off of only one play. I'd like to blitz. I'd like to blitz a lot. Because, uh... You know, it's a college game. And if you're facing a quarterback who doesn't know what he's doing too well, or gets... You know, it's a college quarterback than uh, having a man defense. I also tend to go conservative on third down. In fact, I might shift that here, even though I don't know how great of a shift that was. No, I'm in blitz two guys, rush six. It's not very conservative, but here's where the audible went. Punt, all right. And who's that? That would be Charles Gordon, I think, in the backfield. Famous for a. Uh, he was a pretty, actually, a pretty good punt returner. And, alright, good blocking. Don't really know what's good on this team. Don't really remember. I think the quarterback, which would have been Aaron Barman at that time, yeah, Adam Barman, whatever his name was, at that time. He was pretty fast, of course, not in that scenario, I guess. Running back was good though. Another running back that was a uh, Clark Green. He was a really good player. Should just be able to hit a hole through the middle here. Yeah, break a tackle. Not bad. All right. That probably shouldn't have earned us as many yards as it did. And let's go back to the running back. That might actually be the same play. But I like to live vicariously. Oh, okay. All right, running game is going to probably be what we stick to. Granted, this is Tulsa during the absolutely terrible years of Tulsa football. I think it was Sports Illustrated called them the worst team in college football uh, after the 2003 season. There may have been 2002, I don't really remember. 2002, Kansas uh, football only had two wins the entire season, one of which was Southwest Missouri State, which is now Missouri State, and the other of which was Tulsa. Cool sports trivia for you. Let's give the running back some rest. Let's uh, pass it here. Have fatigue turned on. I don't like fatigue. It works. Uh, it's a little too sensitive, I think, in the early games. I think it gets better as the uh, series per. Oh, what a drop! And here we are, left again, working out of the shotgun for the second play in a row. As I tend to be on my one-track mind, it's actually not too bad in terms of speed. That was a good pitch. I'm going to pat myself on the back there and say that was a good pitch. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually complete a pass this time. I think for one for two. The pass. No, oh, that was a bad throw. But hey, who cares? We got it. Let's do something crazy mess with their minds. Maybe the halfback option pass. 
a play that I do not think has ever worked in the history of video games. Because you gotta pitch it and then throw it. Ah. Wouldn't have counted even if it did. So, we're gonna count that as personal victory. <laughs> Benjino Furious. You know what I like? Let's mess with their heads again. And we're going to do a wide receiver reverse pass to the quarterback this time. That was smart. I'm probably going to lose this game because I'm fucking around over here. But Let's do another halfback pass. There is another one in the playbook, actually. It's, uh gonna go for the half-back screen here. <laughs> That's probably a terrible idea, actually. Let's see if we can draw anybody off. Be the oh, well, that was a terrible throw, so. Proud of myself. That is play calling 101 there for you right now. How to get down to the red zone and then kick a field goal. By me. Congratulations. Three points on the board. Whew. Three zero. <laughs> Look at that replay. Just like levitates off the ground, actually. That was funny, and I'm gonna watch that like three times. Hold on. Look at the uh, way that this game makes it. <laughs> it's like his legs don't even push him off the ground, they just kind of levitate him into place. Okay, let's try some zone defense here. Still blitzing off of the uh, corner here. Number seven, I believe that's Nick Reed. I know all of these. I met him once, actually. He was really good. Yeah. Second and three. Now, if you haven't discovered my strategy, basically, is to hit the quarterback. And that didn't work. That did, though. coverage always a good idea when you're sure they're not going to run and you don't want to go prevent. What's the number 45 here? And tried to intercept that. <laughs> Doesn't always work. I wouldn't vote Kirk Curb Street for president. That seems like a waste of time. Probably wouldn't. I mean, if, if I thought he could get stuff done, maybe, but does not seem like a prime candidate for the presidency. It's a fair catch. And then not good for it. Well, okay. Let's, um, let's go for the screen again. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Ladies, the party is at his place. So many female watchers of sports of the day, go ahead and pay attention to that, because it will probably come in handy after the game here today, after I get intercepted there. Oh, another holding. Good. I'm glad. This is actually just what I wanted. It's a 10-yard penalty to bring my drive to a screeching halt. Option to the strong side here. Uh, I thought there would be some sort of blocking or 
with this. Oh, uh, fuck. Okay. Well, that didn't work. And here we are. Let's beat Tulsa 3 to 0. It's going to be the end of the game. Oh shit, the receiver number 83 might. Oh no, I didn't save to see the safety there. And we'll throw to him anyway, and it will be horribly overthrown. Excellent. Oh, it was only third down. Wow, I didn't even need to. I should probably. F yeah, of course, because the play reset. I'm dumb. Halfback go. Yeah, one second left in the first quarter. Prime targets are R, L, and A. Let's see if he's going to beat his man. He is. Good job. Well, that could be worse. Always like the halfback direct, which is what I'm going to run here. Always, I've never seen it actually in play, but also I liked how that, that linebacker just kind of ran backwards. Somehow, I fooled him that, that well. Play action, always a good idea here on second two, I think. I'm not sure though. And we'll throw it right into coverage. Because I'm bad at video games. It's a triple option here, but I think. Don't tell anybody, I think we're going to give it to the fullback. We're going to give it to the fullback. And just to mess with their heads even more. We're going to go with the option pass. And then that'll happen. Since messing with their heads once we get in the red zone hasn't exactly worked for us, I think we might just kind of go and do what is smart. But whoever thought of that. A modest six yard gain, not too bad. Go with the halfback reverse pass again. And quick posts. Probably won't do too much. And good. Alright. Should knock down at the line. So, back to the field goal. Again. Yard field goal attempt for the kicker. And it is probably going to be short. No, it's good. Okay. Well, that is not a terribly good leg there for the kicker. Alright, 6 0. Kansas. Looking strong here in the first half. That was sarcasm. Exactly who that would be, actually. Yeah, there we go. Intercept that. Not bad. Not bad at all. And the fans go wild. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll go. We'll take that. Take that any day of the week. And go with the wide receiver screen over here. And it wasn't actually a bad idea. There we go. See what happens when you think with your head and not, um, that joke was going nowhere. I'm sorry. Good. All right. That is how to properly execute the option in my own, and in my own personal opinion. 
go with the option again. Okay, a tight end might be the best uh, option here. And indeed it is. Uh, but I lobbed it. That was a bad idea. Shit. Had I done it, I think had I given it probably a better uh, judgment in terms of the speed there, that would have been the first down. But instead of just, why the hell am I going to do a screen to my fullback? Thanks, Elite Corso for giving me your knowledge, and he is wide open, and he would have gotten the first down. Had the ball been caught, crucial fourth and 11. You know what? This is the last day of our lives as children, ladies and gentlemen. We will do the fake field goal and just see exactly what does not happen, and that what happened was absolutely an incompletion. So, the score is still, believe it or not, 6-0. That's why you can't take risks. Now, when you're too much blitzing from one side, they're going to put in a tight end and a fullback there. So you got a blitz from the left. Or my left. The actual person's right. Uh, middle linebacker number one, actually, that was Gabe Toomey. He was a fan favorite, but uh, had, I guess, some problems with, I want to say his legs. Some, something happened uh, health-wise, and he couldn't, uh, I think he didn't actually, either he didn't play in 2004 or he didn't play in 2005. And sticking to the conservative on third down, we are rushing six. Oh, I forgot, yeah. Gordon played both wide receiver and cornerback. And this game gives you the option to make your own signs. And I'm running out of time here for this, or else I would probably do this in this episode of Sports of the Day. You'll have to wait until tomorrow morning, probably, for me to um, actually indulge in sign creation. Haven't seen any of like the pre-made signs, like the default images. Again, I don't know why I keep asking coach, but because it, it doesn't seem to work very often. I'm just not good at having open receivers, I guess. There is one thing I think they do better in uh, NCAA 14, probably the last actual edition of the series. Um, oh shit! Okay. Really being able to know that your receivers are open. Being able to know that with some confidence. We're going to do a quarterback run here. Man, my total yardage is almost 100 more than Tulsa is right now, and yet I'm beating them by less than touchdown because of a couple of stupid trick plays because I'm a child. Well, the quarterback sprint actually didn't work too bad. Too badly, too poorly. Who cares? Give it to old Clark. And that is a gain of seven, I think. Yep. Not bad. Yeah. Like I said, fatigue in this game goes a little, like, your players get drained really quickly. Huh. That is proper screen technique there, is a wait until the entire defense is chasing you. <laughs> Nothing bad can possibly come of that. Certainly not a loss of, like, 20 yards. Bringing the defense up here, and... Okay. Could be worse. Now we have less than a minute left in the half. It's good because I get the ball back, don't I? Yes, I do. Uh huh. Awesome. Okay, not good. Ungood. 
less than good. That was a terrible throw. So I'm thinking we might not be a passing team, these Kansas Jayhawks. And here we are at the goal line, I think, for the first... No, we've been at the goal line before. But this time we're going to be smart about it. And we're just going to give it to the fullback. See if he can make something happen. We'll have some time to off the clock, though. Think about some nice, fun things. Think about how there are people outside of my window enjoying their day while I am in here huddled up playing old sports games. Think about how I have to leave in five minutes. So, this is going to be a transmission that will be ended fairly quickly. Or fairly abruptly, I would assume. Who the hell is this kicker? I don't want his name. I want him off the team. I should probably explain that at some point, the fact that I dive with my kicker anytime after I kick a field goal. That's the thing I still do in games today. So I should also explain that I'm in the band, and you know when you hear something so much, no matter how great it is, and I do not need to audible, it kind of becomes like ingrained in your mind forever, well that's uh, kind of how the Kansas University, University fight song is, yeah another interception, there we go, I think that's the same guy, I'm a Jayhawk, and I could probably play my entire part vocally at some point during the series if I get bored enough. I'm not going to right now, though, because I have a Hail Mary to throw. And this Hail Mary will be one that will last ages. Alright. Uh, well, okay, move him. That way we got three people here. Of course, the, uh, Old Notre Dame strategy, and we have guys wide open there in the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> Alright. Now, you know what would be bad would be if I went for two here. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and score here. The extra point. I'm not going to fake it this time. Famous three flags with the same picture on it salute after every touchdown, a traditional uh, sign of every college football team. Oh shit. <laughs> We're gonna put that on the highlight film. Me completely missing a tackle there. And there we go. That's the end of the first half. I'm up 20 to 0. On the Tulsa Hurricane. And I get the ball back. That's why you gotta choose to return at the beginning of the half. Okay, so I think our second half strategy is going to be maybe less bullshit, uh, maybe fewer halfback and running back passes. That play was going nowhere, but somebody got hurt. So it all goes out in the wash, doesn't it? I feel terrible for saying that. Gain of one yard, and I think both of their cornerbacks are out now. Passing game is high. Check that composure, yeah, on the right side. We're going to pass to the right sometime soon.
Do they have the matchup stick here? We got composed and rattled versus good player and bad player. Um, okay, so that guy over there, R, I think, is running right. Oh, we can do that. I thought he was running a go. He was not. I repeat, that was a post thrown into quadruple coverage on third down and two. They're saying go. The fans want me to go. And I'm thinking we might go ahead and go for it here on our second in the pantheon of a. Uh... Oh, well, they're shifting the coverage right to my guy, but who cares? I'm going with the fake. And it worked. <laughs> They're very emphatic about what the sign says. Okay, Lee. I don't know why I do this so often. I'm just, I think it's just instinct is that I'm gonna go, what does the coach want me to do? And then, okay, that's actually probably not a terrible idea. Nine point five yards per carry. That is not a bad deal. <laughs> Go ahead and run another shitty trick play. Because I'm in the mood. Quarterback screen. To my quarterback. Good. <laughs> that was not a fumble. That was definitely a fumble. <laughs> Loss of eight. Excellent. Let's go ahead and. I might run the ball here. Just because passing is not doing it too well. That's my good player, bad player. Okay, we got a bad player on another bad player. So, um, shit. Let's see how this turns out. Oh, thanks. Okay, referee's in the way. I'll just get hit really hard there by the linebacker. Stop doing that to me. Slot seems. Okay, mm I'll just, I'll just find the open man. And guess what? There was no open man the whole time. Because, uh, that's basically my. So we fake the punt for nothing, is what I'm saying. <sighs> to go really soon, so I'm probably going to pause this, and that'll be the end of Sports of the Day right after this point here, which I'm going to intentionally kick out of bounds, or not, or we, they definitely said, no, don't go out of bounds, and then touch back. Excellent job, everyone. I'll try to do better next day.